All right, so in this uh, demo, we're going to cover uh, some methods to reprocess failed CI event records. And let's just look at what, what the methods are we're going to cover. All right, we got two methods we're going to cover today. You can uh, retry via the SRM request record, or you can retry via the CI event record itself. And the note down there is, is, is key as well. If it's whatever the data problem was, whether it's a problem in the SRD or it's a problem in the foundation data, this will need to be corrected to ensure that future CI event records process successfully. Because if we don't fix that, it, the problem is still going to be there. You're going to have to continue to reprocess the events. So in this SRD, I've just got a couple of mappings. One goes to OPCAT1, the other goes to OPCAT2. So I'm going to go ahead and submit the request. I don't have a fulfillment ticket at this point. So I said, you get an idea, this is a test box. So it should happen pretty quickly here. So I don't have a fulfillment ticket. So we're gonna check out CI events here and see what's going on on the CI events form. So what we've got is here's our failed event. We see the error. The error code is similar for all apps regardless whether it's incident change or work order. The op operational categorization information is invalid for the specified company. Okay, so what we can do to see what values I passed is if we take this event good value here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the CI event params form, and this is gonna contain all the data that's being passed with this specific event. And here's all our data. And I know that these categorization fields end in 63 and 64. So we got failure in hardware. So I've got a record in CFG assignment for this company uh, to assign the work order. So what we'll do is we'll go into CFG assignment and check out the records that I've got for work order manager assignee. And We've got, here, here's our failure record. This is the one that I wanted to pick up, but we see that we got capacity here. And if we check, hardware is not even a valid option here. So I'm gonna have to fix that in the SRD going forward. Uh, but what I'm gonna do in this, in this little video is show you how to process the CI event record so that it gets cleaned up, so that, so that we can go ahead and take care of it. Okay, so let's see if this has failed. Okay, it's failed three times. It's, it's not gonna be officially in an error status until this has failed three times because we got max retries of three here we see that the retry counter is two so we need this thing to fail one more time and then we can uh, go ahead and 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 try to reprocess it there and, and pass the correct value of, of what we need in that opcat data okay so now we've got our three retries it's failed three times so this event is no longer going to process because it's already hit the max retries so what we're going to do is this we know that hardware is not correct on the CI event param. So what we're gonna do is we can just edit this record. We know that capacity is the correct value. We're just gonna save this. Now we can go back to our CI events. We have to set this back to zero because if we don't, it's not gonna process it because of the max retry set to three. And we need to just set this to start. Then we can save it. And then we can do a refresh and we see that it's gone. That's usually a good signal that you've got a fulfillment ticket. So let's go over here and check what we've got. And sure enough, we do have a work order. Okay, so let's do, there's one other method we can use to reprocess these events if they're failed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna submit this same one again and we know that it's not gonna work because it didn't work the first time around. So we're gonna go ahead and submit it. And then this method that we're gonna, that we're gonna uh, demonstrate here, it's going against the SRM request record itself. So, Let's go ahead and bring up SRM request. If, if you're on a production system or system with a lot of records, you know, I just did an open-ended search. I only have 14 records here. It's easy to do. You, you're not going to be able to probably do open-ended search. You may have that disabled. So normally what you'd want to check is an event status of error. Now, the reason this isn't an error yet is because of our three retries. So here's the failed record. We see that it's it's processing for the first time and we need to wait for the retry counter and to get to three. So it's going to get to three after it does the 
the retries. It's going to go through, try it. It's going to process the queue is going to process it again, and then it's going to try to uh, to create the record again using obviously the same values as it did before. Okay, there's one retry. So once we get to three, we'll see the the SRM request record. This one field, this event status will be error, and that will be a field that you can search on in the uh, service request data to to get the failed records back if you know you've got some that are in error. Okay, so now this has failed three times, and something else I should have mentioned earlier. This is this type of event is the key event in SRM because this is the one that's creating a fulfillment ticket. SRM out create app request. Okay, so we've got our three failures here. So if we check this request record now, we just refresh the search. We notice now that our event status is an error. So we come in here, click view process. Now, if you've got a flow with multiple AOTs in it, you may need to page down through here or scroll down or click down through the list to see which one failed. I've only got one here, so uh, it's pretty much we know which one it is. But if there are multiple ones and you've got a, a fairly complex flow and several of them have worked successfully, you may need to page down here or click down through the list. So here's our, here's our error. It's the same one as before. We click View Events here. And what we're seeing here, this is just the CI event parameter form in table. It's, it's in a table. So here's our value hardware. We know that's not correct. So we're going to come in here, do capacity, click commit. We see it's changed. Then you click retry. We can close these win windows down. Now, if we come back here to CI events, we notice, look at the CI action field. It got populated with a value of retry because that came from the, the, the dialog window we just populated and, and retried. So this should, once this processes, clear out of the form, and then we'll have our fulfillment ticket. Okay, so it's running now. There it goes, and it's gone. We've got no records in the system. So now when we come back here, I would expect error to be cleared out. And the error is cleared out, and there's our work order. So that's a couple of methods to reprocess a failed CI events record. Now the key, though, is to keep this from happening going forward, a couple of things need to occur. One or the other, the SRD needs to be updated to match your foundation data, or the foundation data needs to be updated to match what's going through the SRD. If that none of one of those occur, this process will continue to occur, and you'll need to re, re, reprocess all these failed CI event records. So that the data needs to be updated in foundation, or the SRD mappings need to be updated, and this will keep keep this from occurring in the future. Thank you.